I'm Vinayak Hegde. I'm a hacker who's been writing system software for more than a decade. Uh, I have programmed in a bunch of languages and written production systems um, on them. Um, examples include a distributed system that runs over 100 uh, across 100 plus data centers across the world. I was an architect for a um, big data system which is now, now running across multiple uh, data centers across the world. Um, for, that was built for uh, the ad, mobile ad network in Mobi which handles hundreds of terabytes of data. Well, that's about me. Now on to speaking. Uh, I'm going to speak about hands-on workshop that I'm going to, uh, that I'm doing. So I'm going to talk and uh, I'm going to talk and code in R. Uh, so a little bit about R. R is a free uh, software programming language and a software uh, environment for statistical, statistical computing and graphics. The R language is widely used among uh, statisticians and computer scientists and data miners for developing statistical software and for data analysis. Uh, R is a multi-paradigm uh, language uh, where you can do procedural programming like C or uh, object-oriented uh, programming like Java. Um, it also has some functional features uh, where you can do automatic looping and iteration over data structures very similar to functional languages. Um, the po and it's, it's, it's getting to become popular. Polls and surveys of data miners show that R's popularity has increased substantially in the in the last uh, few years, R has been used to create uh, really, really good graphics by the New York Times, the Washington Post and other leading newspaper. Uh, not just that, it's also used in a variety of disciplines such as meteorology, particle physics, epidemiology, biostatistics and pretty much everything in between. Um, it, is, it is also used in financial analysis and other social sciences that rely on data to make their case. Um, so. <coughs> Uh, now a little bit about the workshop. So we are going to use R Studio to explore different public data sets and build a web app in R. Uh, we'll start with data structures in R and how the basic iteration and looping works. R can be re uh, R can read from a variety of data sources such as Excel files, uh, databases, uh, the Hadoop uh, file system, uh, HDFS, uh, CSV files, XML files, and also for, uh, from HTML tables on the web. Uh, so we'll start uh, reading data from these sources, transforming and analyzing them using the different uh, packages that are there. Uh, the packages that we are going to explore, uh, some examples of them are Plyo, Lattice, Reshape2, etc. We'll also see how to quickly find anomalies and outliers in data using the ggplot package which is an excellent package for doing plotting and graphing of data. Uh, we'll also be building a small web app using the Shiny package uh, and we'll, at the end of the workshop we'll also see how to integrate R with other languages such as C++ and other systems such as Hadoop. Um, so that's, that's what we're going to do uh, in the workshop. At the end of the workshop you'll have a good feel for R and we'll be able to start exploring uh, data and <coughs> navigate the R ecosystem by yourself. Thank you and see you at the workshop.